So today I'll show you how to use the high yield section on Path Presenter. The high yield section is built for residents and fellows that are training, that are in trainings. Uh, currently there are more than 30,000 slides on Path Presenter, so it would be very difficult for residents to go through 30,000 slides. So what we have done is we have taken the bread, bread and butter cases and put them in a high yield section. So you can log in either at home or within the department. Uh, then you click on the high yield cases. So these high yield cases have been built by very well known pathologists from around the world. Uh, there is even a section for medical school pathology. Uh, the pathology high yield cases will show you cases that you normally will see the that you normally see at the Ostler course. So when you go to the Ostler course, uh, they, they show you around 150 glass slides. So all the diagnoses that were at the Ostler course, we put we found representative slides and put them in the high yield cases. So if you click on any of these, I build the dermatology sections, I'll show you the derm path. You click on any of these, you enter. And you'll see like there are, I picked around 300 cases that every resident should know before they finish their residency or every fellow should definitely know before the end of the fellowship. And these are handpicked cases that you can either open them on a phone, you can open them on iPads when you are at home, you're in the library or even traveling or when you are in the department, you can then as a group, when all the residents are together, you just project this on the screen and then you can click open on any of these cases. So you'll see like in Dumpad, there are 325 cases that we have picked for you to go through over a period of the next three to six months before your board exams. So for any of these cases, if you, let's open up a case. So if you click on any of these cases, You'll first see the digital slide without any information. So look at this slide and try to make up your mind of what the diagnosis is. If you want to rotate the slide, this is the rotator here. So you can rotate the slide if you need. You just hold this and rotate it. This is the navigator that will take you straight away to that. You can put this off, on or off using this. So once you have made up your mind what the diagnosis is, then you're just going to click on this button that says case info. So it will give you the diagnosis, keratoacanthoma. It will give you microscopic features. And because you, the best way to teach is on a multi-edit scope when the pathologist or the dermatopathologist is pointing out features to the resident or the fellow. So that's what we have simulated here. So if you click on any of these highlighted features, neutrophilic microapsis, it will actually zoom into the slide. And if you bring your cursor, it will tell you what that feature is. So you can see like it has found that neutrophilic microapsis and then shown you like you would see on a multi-edit or a two-edit scope. There are associated clinical images. So you click on any of the clinical images, they would open up for differential diagnosis. You have the slides that will open up side by side. So you can compare the differential diagnosis. So this is squamous cell carcinoma in comparison to a keratoacanthoma. You can zoom in. Uh, this is the full screen button that will make it full screen. You can exit out of it. And uh, the final is the link to Widex, which gives you additional information about each diagnosis. So in Widex, you, there's around, around 1100 diagnosis for which you have multiple virtual slides. So here again, we come back to keratoacanthoma. You can see this is one virtual slide. This is another one. This is another one. If you scroll down, you have the clinical features, histological features, clinical differential diagnosis, workup. Uh, for differential diagnosis, you just click on this and it'll open up the slide side by side. So you have keratoacanthoma versus a SEPK versus a Veruca vulgaris. You scroll down, all the information is here. So Widex provides you all this information for around 1100 diagnoses. So then if you want to move to the next case, you just click here, it will then move to the next case. You can click this button off. You can look at the slide again on your own. Then again, case info, and it will give you all the other features. So this is available for all the specialties. So the, the pathology high yield cases are the cases that are handpicked from the 
osteoporosis, and for each of these cases, you have the same features. So you click on this diagnosis. You can look at the slide first without any information. And once you have looked at the slide, click on the case info. It gives you the diagnosis, and then it gives you the annotated microscopic features. So you click on any of these annotations, it will actually point to those features. So go ahead and use this resource for your self-education and for group learning. And hopefully that will help you like tidy over the board exams that are coming up. Best of luck.